Hi, my name is Mon Fernandez. I am the president and CEO of Manila Water Services Incorporated of the Philippines. What is your company all about? Okay, um, my, my Nila um, is the largest water concession holder in Manila. We service the west part of Metro Manila. We have about 1.4 million connects, servicing over 9 million customers within Metro Manila. Uh, we are providing water and wastewater services to our customers. Industrial. Well, Could you describe a little bit. Okay. Uh, first of all, um, the MWSS, our regulator, has defined the area wherein we will operate. It's the western part of Metro Manila, which includes uh, parts of Quezon City, parts of Manila, parts of Las Piñas, Paranaque, Munting Lupa, and as far as portions of Cavite. What, what is Manila going to be in the next five or ten years? Okay. Um, the focus of Manila, uh, after we have done our part in improving the water services, improving the water pressure, the water availability within Metro Manila, the, the other part of our obligation is wastewater. And we will continue to invest. We have invested already over 20 billion pesos in the last uh, six, to, 6 to 10 years on wastewater and we are uh, definitely going to invest some more in the remaining years of our concession up to 2035. Perhaps there are innovations within Manila that you can share okay. with us. Well, um, as the environment of the water industry has been changing, both because of climate change, because of more demanding customers, and because of the changing uh, regulatory environment, the need for innovation, the need for improved efficiency is always there. Uh, improve uh, automation is one, making sure that the information is readily available and online so that decision makers can make decisions right on the spot so that the customers, the more demanding customers will be serviced right there and right there on time. That's one part of uh, what we have been investing, automation. The other one is improve efficiency in terms of consumption of resources, whether it's consumption of power, consumption of chemicals, to deliver a potable water at the end of the day and a clean water at the end of the day and clean wastewater at the end of the day. We continue to invest. Whether it's local technology or foreign technology, we will continue to look for and invest in, in said technology. Yes. What's your explanation about that? Well, I, I am myself, and uh, uh, I'm an engineering graduate myself, and I have been advocating the need for more and more engineers, more and more technology-oriented Filipinos. Because uh, as I mentioned earlier, in my previous assignment in the toll roads, I asked my HR head the question of how many is really the pool of engineers in the Philippines? And our findings is very simple. Um, the engineering graduates are still increasing, but not in proportionate to the population. But at the same time, that limited pool is also diminishing because they're going out. They were going out for the foreign markets, for foreign assignments, for higher paying jobs in, in the foreign land. And therefore, I have pushed and I continue to push for scholarships for engineering and technology students, for them to be encouraged and motivated to take up engineering. Uh, engineering, uh, science, technology and math is really the future for, for our country.